electric vehicle manufacturer Tesla recently approved a stock split. This event should entice more people to invest in Tesla. Furthermore, Tesla's stock still offers exposure to an EV market pioneer, and the Inflation Reduction Act will work in Tesla's favor. Let's be honest, CEO Elon Musk is a master when it comes to generating publicity. Just recently, Musk joked about buying Manchester United, a British soccer or football team. Call him obnoxious if you like, but Musk knows how to get attention. And that's been positive for Tesla generally. In today's video, we will be showing you why Tesla stock will soon reach $500. Without further ado, let's begin. One Tesla bull says the stock could be headed higher even after a more than 400% rally so far this year. Todd Gordon, the founder of TradingAnalysis.com, sees several tailwinds that should carry the stock back to record highs. First, he told CNBC's Trading Nation that a record number of deliveries in the third quarter is a bullish development. On top of that, he pointed to expansion in Europe and a focus on battery production as two other catalysts. The charts also signal a breakout in the making, he said. You can see just an absolutely amazing run from the $100 mark. This is post-split, all the way up into the $400 range. And you can see that we started to fall into a little bit of a triangle consolidation, he said Thursday. A triangle is nothing more than lower highs, higher lows. We reach a point of decision where the chart must break out, and usually it breaks in the direction of the trend that was in place prior to the consolidation. Tesla executed a 5-for-1 stock split on August 31. Since the announcement of that move on August 11, the shares have rallied nearly 60%. However, since the end of September, the stock has traded sideways between a range of roughly $406 to $448. We might have one more push higher in Tesla before we see more significant profit-taking, but I certainly see room up towards the $500 region there in Tesla. Gordon said. Gordon is using the options market to define risk and putting on a trade that takes the stock through expected volatility around the U.S. presidential election. He is buying the 450 calls with November 20 expiration and selling the 500 calls. A move to $500 implies a 16% upside. The only stock I have that has done better than this is Eli. But Eli bought back in like January and February, and Tesla has hardly held for any time. So I'm very thankful to be holding Tesla. I have, you know, a decent amount of shares in one account, and then a very small amount of shares in another account. We're just doing very, very well. So I'm very thankful to own Tesla, especially with how rough stocks have been over the past, let's say a month or so. If we look, Tesla's stock has just been absolute beast mode the past month, right? Going from around $250, $260 range to now, it's up over $350, in literally a month's time. All right. Meanwhile, almost every other company you could possibly find is down substantially. You look at where Apple's fallen. It's fallen massively over the past month. Google, same deal. Amazon is in the same exact situation. And Facebook is in the same situation. All these massive tech companies have just fallen. If we look at even some of the hot stocks, like something like Nvidia, it's down massively the past month. Netflix down all, you know, an unbelievable amount the past month, you know. It's just a stock after stock really the past month or so has gone down. Like it's hard to literally find any stocks that have gone up over the past month, especially ones that have gone up 20, 30, 40% in the past month like Tesla has guys. So let's just quickly recap what's happened over the past few weeks. And then we'll get into what to look forward to over the next 6 to 12 months. So to quickly recap here, why the stock has gone up so much in the past few weeks. Okay, first off, we had earnings come out, and these earnings blew the doors off. All right, we're talking about adjusted earnings of $2.90 a share that was versus what analysts were expecting to have a loss of $0.19. Cents. Okay, you know we're expecting them to lose money, and they made a ton of money revenue, king in at 6.82 billion analysts had expected around 6.33 billion. So they had about half a billion dollar beat there on revenue. Also, revenue surged 70% quarter over quarter in more than doubled year over year. There are very few companies in the entire world right now that have these types of revenue numbers. And honestly, 
If you're looking at companies the size of Tesla, no one is doing even remotely close to these types of numbers, where they're doubling up their revenue year over year. You just can't find this stuff anywhere, guys. It's its growth on a parabolic level. It's growth on a different level that any company has right now and most companies have ever had. All right? Also, we've seen some tests the short sellers actually throw in the towel, right? We've seen several tests the short sellers actually cover their shares, all right, and just say we were done with that short position. We either made money or we lost some money, whatever we're getting out of it. But we've also seen a couple of very well-known short sellers, who were very bearish on Tesla, actually flip not only to cover their shares, but actually go long. Tesla shares stating, how much, you know? Tesla's kind of owning the competition, how you know? The competition is just so far behind Tesla and whatnot. So that is one of the biggest things you can see out there. When you have well-known short sellers actually go from a position where they were short the stock and then in a matter of a month or two, they literally flip-flop and they go positive on the stock. All right, so between what happened with earnings and then you have short sellers all of a sudden, you know, covering and then saying, hey, we're actually going long shares that have freaked out a lot of people has caused more shallow short sellers to cover when short sellers cover shares. They have to buy back the shares that they originally shorted, which can end up pushing up the price more and more. And then on top of that, Elon Musk over the past month has, you know, but you know, cleaned up things he, you know, settled with the SEC. He got all that behind the company with that whole situation. He hasn't done anything in the past, you know, several weeks and pretty much the past month to make sure you know. Investors say, oh, we got to sell off Tesla shares because Elon Musk did something crazy. So you have a lot of positivity now starting to get into Tesla stock. And a lot of people will still wonder if Elon never sent that tweet. If never Elon never said that we're going private at four to $420 tweets. If he never sent that, a lot of people feel like Tesla shares would be well over $400. Right now, a lot of people feel like Tesla shares right now would be 404 to 50, somewhere around there. But because he sent that tweet, it just put a big, huge negative narrative around the company in the short term. All right, well, first off here, we'll have earnings that will probably come out somewhere around the end of January, maybe the very beginning of February. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.